In this video tutorial, we are going to solve the given cubic equation by a simple factoring method. So the very first step we're going to do with this given example is I want you to split this equation into two parts. That is the first part and this is what? The second part. As you can see in the first part, in between these two terms, what is in common? So the common part is obviously 3x squared. So once you brought 3x squared outside, what's going to be inside the parentheses? It's going to be what? x plus 7. Likewise, in the second part, what is in common? So negative 4 is going to factor out. That's going to be what? x plus 7 equal to 0. Okay, next thing, what I want you to look at this thing, I want you to observe x plus 7 and x plus 7, they are same. I want you to factor them out, so I want you to put it over here, x plus 7, and then what is going to be inside the parentheses, this part and what, this part. So 3x squared minus 4 equal to what, 0. Okay, so the next step is what? Since these two factors are equal to zero, we can split them up. So I can say x plus seven equal to zero, and I can write three x square minus four equal to zero. The first equation, of course, that's gonna give us x equal to what? Negative seven piece of cake, isn't it? All right, let's look at this one, the second equation. I want you to add four on both sides. Once we did that one, this is gone. We got three x square equal to what? Four. Now I want you to divide both side by three. So we got what? x square turns out to be what? Four over Three. So the next thing we want to get rid, get rid of this uh, x square part. So we're going to take the square root on both sides. I put a square root on this side, square root of this side. You see this square and square root, they undo each other. So what we got? x equal to plus or minus. Don't forget to put down plus or minus. And then we can write this one, 4 over 3 square root, we can write, we can split them up, 4 over 3. So the next step, what we're going to do is, you can see this one over here, this is same as writing positive or negative 2 over what? Square root of what? 3. Now, you can see that we have a radical at the bottom and that is not acceptable. We cannot put radical at the bottom, so we must rationalize it. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna rationalize uh, this part. So whatever is at the bottom, this part, whatever that thing is, I want you to multiply and divide by the same quantity. <clears throat> so what happens, so the top part is going to become two times positive or negative two times square root of three divided by when you have a same radicals twice that gives us just simply that number so radical is gone so that means what radical three times radical three is always equal to three just keep in your mind. So thus, so that means what we got. That means we got, that means x equal to positive 2. We're going to split this thing up with two signs, positive sign and negative sign. So that's what I'm going to put down. I'm going to put down positive 2 square root of 3 over 3. And the second one is going to be what? x equal to negative 2 square root of 3 over 
3. So thus we have what? We have a three solutions now. What are our th three solutions are what? Negative 7. So this is what? Positive 2 square root of 3 over 3. And we have a negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. These are our three solutions. And that is our answer. Now the next step, we want to check our answer whether it's these our given solutions are the right answers. So this is really simple way. I'm going to show you a nice kind of trick over here. I want you to look at all these three solutions. I want you to add them up. So I want you to add this thing negative 7 plus the second solution is what? 2 square root of 3 over what? 3 plus the third solution is what? negative 2 square root of 3 over what? 3. They must be, if you see, if they are equal to minus b over a. We must check this thing whether they are equal to minus b over a. Now you might be wondering what is a and what is b. In our case, this is a, this part is b, this is C and this portion is D. So that means minus B over A would be simply how much? You're going to tell me now. Minus and then B is how much? Positive 21, isn't it? Divided by what? A is how much? 3. That should give us negative 7. So this is what we want to check. That means minus b over a turns out to be minus 7. Now we're going to see whether the left hand side equals to negative 7. Now you can see this thing. These these two cancels out, isn't it? They are just a different sign. They are same quantity. So we end up with what? Negative 7. So as you can see that the left hand side is indeed equals to right hand side that checked our answer. That means our all given solutions are correct. Thanks for watching and subscribing.